It was a challenge. I mean, it, I realized that because of the, the technique that I use, uh, my pieces are very time consuming. But I liked the idea of the challenge and I thought, how can I balance doing the challenge with the slowness of my, of my technique? And so I thought, I'll try a few of these. I'll just do little six by six oil paintings. And if I'll see how long it takes me to do each one and maybe I'll loosen up the technique a little bit in order to be able to complete it on time. Uh, because I was trying to put the whole collection together for the opening of Celebration. Uh, and I think I started it in like October or November. So there was, you know, there was a real time constraint. Um, and so initially I started it out with just the idea of doing one or two pieces just to see. And I started enjoying it so much that I realized I, it was possible for me to get all 26 done in time for the show. One interesting thing was that I did the ABCs and I started, because one, one of the challenges was I was going to use blocks in each piece with the letter. So I had to choose objects that were proportionally appropriate. So some of the objects I already had around the studio from having used them in other paintings. Uh, but then sometimes I'd have to go and find little objects to fit and I'd pull out the dictionary and start looking through for words. Um, and so I ended up, I chose objects that were relevant to my generation and the people who were looking at it, uh, you know, parents and grandparents, they recognized some of these objects, but we realized there's certain things in here that kids today probably don't even associate with, things like um, the chess piece here for the letter Q for the Queen. Most kids just play online or maybe never actually touched a real chess piece. Um, the VW, uh, you know, the old hippie days. I, I put some little flowers in here for flower power and painted some little, you know, symbols, peace symbols on the side of the, the thing there and realized that kids today probably don't understand the significance of that. So. So that, that was kind of interesting, but a lot of the older folks um, really enjoyed this. This, for instance, this one, uh, the X, it's for um, X-ray vision, X-ray specs. Well, when I was a kid, every every boy's comic book had an advertisement for X-ray specs. Every boy wanted a pair of X-ray specs, you know, and you'd get them in the mail, and they were useless. They just didn't work. But so that was something that people of my age remembered maybe even ordering them or seeing them in the backs of my comic books. People had such a connection to it and people could look at the whole collection and there's, there's got to be something in there that just strikes a note with you. It's a real conversation piece. Everybody can, can enjoy it and tell a story about it. I'm even tempted to do another alphabet series with um, different objects, uh, maybe a different format, not the blocks, but, but something from yeah, the whole alphabet, but that's in the future.